welcome to the vlog. All right, so this is a kind of update since the last video. Um, it's new stuff, if you guys aren't aware. I'm part of the SRT fam family. So I got right here my daily driver, Jeep SRT 2016. And you guys have already seen the Hellcat, 2017 Hellcat. So I'm just gonna give a quick wash up on this because I drove this thing over the weekend and I don't know, some birds really laid some bombs all over this thing. Pooped all over the Jeep. So, just gonna do a little video of this. Also some new updates. If they haven't done the video is, check it out, the Hellcat got to Mickey Thompson, Street SS, ETs. I put on the size. I've seen some videos of people using it. I actually went with the uh, 305 35R20s. I'll have to tell you, these tires are really nice. It might look a little dirty. I drove this all over the weekend. Uh, but they hook up really good. I really like the, the setup I got in there. Also, I went with the, uh, put an intake on this. Really gets the supercharger roaring. I went with the B Woody. I actually painted it, and it's pretty close to, to the valve covers, but I went with the Hemi Orange, kind of trying to match the uh, valve covers, matching block, but I mean, if you look closely, the uh, B Woody here, the orange is not identical as what the Hemi Orange is. I mean, that's probably my only complaint. I mean, it looks cool. I'm just kind of thinking, you know, if you look close, the oranges, they just don't match. Um, but it still looks sharp. I kind of went with that then a red because it would be kind of too much red um, or black. I just thought it kind of gives that feel of looking like it's something factory, but I don't know. Be Woody, they just didn't come out with the orange looking that close to it. Um, I also popped out the other cover for the fog lights. I got already the factory one and then the other one you can just pop out. It's a little plastic and you push right out. Um, so that's kind of what new is with this machine. Now, because you guys never seen a video with the, um, the Jeep SRT. Um, and it's a nice car. This is my daily driver, Paul. All around the family with this thing. Um, now this one I went with, I can pop the hood open on this. There we go. I went with this one, the AFE Power. I think it's a Carbon GT, I think it was called. Um, now, I'll tell you, I really like this intake. It cuts out and it has, you know, where you get a little fresh air coming up from the top. Um, it also uses the, the scoop that's way down there. Um, now, I'll have to tell you, I'm very, very impressed with this intake. Um, this really ha helped get the uh, temperatures a little, a little cooler all the time. So, pretty much all the time now with this intake, it doesn't matter what the driving is. It's usually, um, when it's colder out, it'd be uh, about 20 degrees colder than what the, um, outside air temperature and then now with it being in more kind of going to the summer it's about 10 degrees um, cooler than what the outside temperature which I'm impressed now the only complaint I have with the B Woody is the same as the factory intake is it's really hot in there the temperatures are way over what the outside temperature is and even with the intake it's just a lot more engine heat um, and it's just not as running as cooler temperatures, which I was kind of shocked. I really thought putting an intake on it would really make the difference in temperatures, but it didn't. So, there's some new updates coming on with both of these cars. We tried, as you saw in the last video, we tried going the drag strip and it was they were already closing or they wouldn't let anybody else run. So I'm planning with the new updates to run both these on the drag strip and see what they can run. The Jeep. Probably gonna do one more modification to it. I got that coming in the mail. Just kind of keep it how it is, because I don't know if you guys saw the video. They got the track hawk coming out. I think it's in the uh, fall. I think what it is? I haven't called a dealer to find out any info, but I think I'm gonna be trading this. And I just got this in January of 2017, but I really want to get the track hawk. You know, having the Hellcat engine, it would be a fun, fun daily driver, especially it's faster than this. Um, I'll have to say that the fun level is both are fun, but I tell you the Jeep's a little bit funner having the four-wheel drive 
Uh, it's you know a little bit nicer to drive you around. If it's snowing and stuff, you obviously can't drive the Hellcat. The Hellcat has its own uh, niche too. Um, it's kind of funny as you listen to the stock exhaust start up. And I'll start up the the Jeep. This is the stock exhaust with it intake. Yeah, it's a little noise. You know, nothing, nothing worth talking about. You know, it's, it sounds good for a stock car. Now I'll tell you what's impressive is why don't it shut up? You can hear a difference. Oh, yeah, the sorry. That's where you kind of heard. I forgot the Jeep's almost out of gas, <laughs> so it just doesn't want to leave it running. Now let's listen to the um, the Hellcat. This is now with the intake with the stock exhaust. Kind of shock where some people want to change stuff to it. Now I've seen uh, AFE Power has these high flow catalytic converters coming out that you actually can hook off the stock uh, exhaust manifold. I think that's my next mod. I'm, I don't really want to do a lot to the Hellcat. I don't think it needs a lot. I mean, I've already done the intake. Um, I'm going to do similar with the exhaust. I like the stock exhaust, so I know that is not pulling off. Just somebody maybe get a little bit um, oomph out of it would be good. I think it's just gonna be a lot getting this thing dialed down at what it is, how I'd like to use it off the starting line. I'm also planning to do a lot of drag racing with this, but I have a background being a professional race car driver before. I think I'm gonna to try to do a little road racing with this car. Uh, that's kind of why I'm interested in that Jeep SRT track hawk, because I think that thing would be a blast going on the track. Um, I might do a little stuff with the Jeep SRT. You know, the problem is, is this has you know, all season performance tires, you know, you'd have to do a little bit of modifying before you could take that any type of road course. Same with the Hellcat, as I've been trying to look at some tire options out there that really what I'm looking for, what my skill level is. And um, you know, for the drag strip, I'll tell you the Mickey Thompson's right there. I know that's the best option for it. But now for road racing, this is a little bit more to be looking at. Um, to get grip on there and, uh, you know, you got to still change the brake pads, change the brake, brake fluid. Uh, I have to check what the brake lines are on these both these cars, but I know with the the Jeep, it's a whole new tire. I don't know if I want to hassle changing that all out. Um, but the drag strip, I think it'll be fine because you don't have to do any burnouts being four wheel drive. Um, I think the stock tire will work perfectly fine for doing that. That's why I'm kind of seeing what what kind of comes out with the tires on the, the track hawk. Kind of planning it all out. So we'll see what happens. Alright, 
actually got the vehicles all cleaned up. Check it out. Now most of you will be wondering what kind of stuff did I use to wash the cars. Now I'm using this with wires. It's a it's an auto dry stuff, so you don't have to use like towels. Um, there's a new company called Chemical Guys that I ordered that should be coming in this week. I'll show you guys a little video how that all works. Do some new stuff. But basically, what this product is, you wash it, and it should get all like if you look at the windshield, it it's kind of all dry. It does a pretty good job. You still have to use like a quick detailer on it to get it looking just fine. Usually I just do is I put I have a custom cover for this. The Hellcat isn't driven all the time. Um, so every time between uses I just hand clean it. Put the cover on. Uh, yesterday I drove it for two days straight. Um, so it needed to actually be washed. I prefer not always washing it because it takes a while for it to dry. Um, and look at this. Jeep SRT is all clean. This one's a... The night runner edition or the night edition it's either yeah it's a night edition so you see all this stuff is blacked out like srt jeep uh, there's no chrome trim i cannot stand chrome one bit i love it how this thing's blacked out it's like some little stealth bomber uh, it's very stealthy on the road um, especially the front where it's all blacked out and that's how it came from the factory now i know the 2017s i don't think they had the night edition even the grand Cherokee, it's all blacked out i just love it i just hope the trail Trailhawk has it where it's blacked out because I just tell you I cannot stand when this is all chrome. It looks not sharp. It doesn't look sporty. Uh, so these are my babies. All right. So while filming that video, got a package delivered. Now I'm trying to get in shape. I'm getting married in July 2017. I'm in shape, but I want to get a little bit more fit. Now I've gone looking at some different products. I've seen some good reviews from Rob Bailey of Run Everything Labs. So I just got some pre-workout. My younger brother, Gavin, he's been working. He's pretty fit. This guy's to get a little bit more muscle on him. But I got, look at this, the, the pre-workout. So I got the pre-workout. Two pre-workouts. These are the grape flavored. And then I got the Onward orange 30 servings then i got the run everything i think it's the pre-workout um drink mix thing sorry my garage is messy i'm selling my house and a lot of stuff is for sale so all right so i got this big thing destroy the enemy fat destroyer Woo! pills take that see what that happens i got some type of lanyard oh and i got my t-shirt t-shirt in the mail that i ordered let's see i got multivitamin and let's see this is probably this is the canteen thing so I got this for workout put my drink in there hook it right to my waist oh yeah I got my own uh, gym equipment at my house so I don't have to go to the gym just got to get a little bit more free time to get more in shape All right, so here's the whole setup. I know it's a little trash in my garage, so here we go. If you guys haven't heard of this? Check them out. RunEverythingLabs.com. Hey, I also got a booster board for sale if anybody's interested.